Lauren, good morning. Well, it was a very scary situation out here this morning. Some of the witnesses and homeowners who live in this area tell us the crash was so loud that it woke them right up out of bed. Now, debris just like this piece here, still laying here in the street this morning, hours after the crash happened. Take a look at this video. We want to get right to it. It shows you just how large the crash was last night and the damage it left behind. Our reporter on scene and witnesses telling us they've never seen something like this in person and especially in a residential area. Now, IMPD, Indianapolis Fire and Pike Fire all responded here to the scene last night just before 11 o'clock. We are told seven cars were involved and seven people were taken to the hospital. One woman even had to get cut out of her car. We talked to a man who lives right along this street about what he saw. There were some people who were trying to pull her out of the vehicle and, and several of us said, please do not touch her so that she can you know, wait, wait till the EMTs get here because everyone was calling 911. The most amazing thing to me was the number of vehicles that just drove through her as if nothing happened. The witness you just heard from also tells us that someone involved in the accident that he talked with said they were being chased by a car, but police are still investigating and trying to determine what happened here this morning. We are told at least two children were among those injured and seven people again were taken to the hospital this morning. This is a developing story, still a lot of information to track down. We have some emails and some calls out to try to get you some more information about what happened. But for now, reporting live, Nicole Griffin, RTV6. Nicole, thank you. We'll also